and welcome to my channel. And if you are new here, uh, my name is Amy and this is Mix It McGee. And my channel is just a mixture of cooking videos, cleaning videos, Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, stuff like that. So if you like it, you are definitely in the right place. So make sure you subscribe and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And today's video, I'm going to be making a Dollar General dinner. And I'm gonna be doing taco soup. And I've got the stuff right here. So, and everything I got from Dollar General, I've got the ground meat, I've got the tomatoes, the uh, diced tomatoes with the green chilies. I have the, you need one of these, a ranch seasoning packet, and of course your taco seasoning packet. And I got some chips to go with it. And one more thing, I got some sour cream. And I want to say the total came out to about $12 or maybe just under. But there are two things that I did not get from Dollar General because I forgot, but I do have them here at home. And that is some beans and some corn. So these two things are from Walmart, but everything else is from Dollar General. So that's what I need. now. If you ever bought meat at Dollar General and used it, which I have one other time, but it does come frozen. Like, sorry about my nails are so ugly. It's frozen. So, um, I'm going to cook it anyway. I'm going to put it in a pan and start cooking it. Um, some people might not start cooking meat when it's frozen. Um, I do it sometimes. I'm still alive, so that's what I'm going to start doing. And, um, okay, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my pot out and I am ready to put the meat in. Like I said, it's frozen. I mean, so I'm gonna put it in and here it is right here. Okay, and I've got the meat all done here as you can see and I have already drained it. And I will um, put the recipe in the link down below. I think um, the recipe calls to do it in a crock pot but I don't have one so I'm just gonna do it in my pan. So I've got the meat and then everything else you can just start uh, putting into the pan. So you can just start with your tomatoes. And I have two cans here. So I'll put those in. And then you can put your green chilies in. I think in the recipe it called for one can of the diced tomatoes and one can of these, I'm not sure, but I put two cans. The good thing about cooking is that you can put in what you want. So if you want more of something, put it in. If you want less of something, put in less. But here's my can of diced tomatoes with the green chilies. Juice and all, don't drain them. And then you can put in your, um, you can put in kidney beans. And I think I might have some black beans somewhere in here. I do. I have black beans, but um, you can put in what you want. So, you know, I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna put in the black beans. Yeah, I think I'll put those in. You can do what you want. And you don't drain them. You just put them in. And these are Bush's baked beans. These are from Walmart. These are not from Dollar General. Like I said, I forgot the beans and the corn. You just put those in, juice and all. It's already smelling good. Then you can put your corn in. One can, corn, juice and all. That, and then the recipe does call for um, beef broth. But, I forgot it, and I'm not going back to the store for it. So, in my cupboard, I have this. It's beef consomme. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put that in. It looks like beef broth, and this makes a lot. that you need to do is put your taco seasoning in and your ranch packet, these two things. You put those in last, get that in, 
she did that by the miraculous of her body. One more. Okay, that's it. And we're going to do the stir. It smells so good. Wow, this is a lot. Okay. And that's it. I'm all done. It's pretty simple. Pretty easy. Okay, it's all stirred. Now I'm just going to put the lid on it and I'm just going to let it simmer probably for about 30 minutes and then it'll be all time to eat. So I'll see you when it's done. Look at this. It smells so good. And my pan is full to the top, so it made a lot. And I went ahead and I put, I don't know if you can see them. I put the black beans in and I went ahead and put in the other beans too. Why not? But it smells delicious. It's got about, I don't know, 20 more minutes of cook time. Yum. Okay, and it is all done as you can see. And I'm gonna put me some in this bowl. And this spoon has holes in it, so I'm not getting the juice. So, let me do this. I'll just put a little of the liquid in here. Not too much. Okay, a little more juice. And now I am going to, like I said, I just have a little bit of sour cream. I'm going to put a little bit on top. And I, this is the cheese that I had in my refrigerator. I'm just using what I have. Triple cheddar cheese. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit. And then I have some chips. Or you could use crackers, I guess. Um, you could crush them up in there. I'm not going to. I'm just going to set them in here. Yum. And that is it. Ta-da. There it is. It is piping hot. So I will set it down and let it cool before I do a taste test. Okay. And it's cooled a little bit. So anyway, I want to show you again without spilling it. Oh, perfect. Yum. Okay. And let's give it a try. My chips are still in there soaking up. That's how I like them, to get a little soft. I don't try not to burn my tongue up. Oh, that's good. Very, very good. Okay, and that is the end of my video. This is delicious. I hope you go and make it. And I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you in my next video.